hey everyone welcome back to my channel once again so today as you guys can see from the title i am snatching somebody's wig off of their head okay <laughs> um but anyway so i saw this wig on black china's head and i freaking fell in love with the color like i don't know if you guys know me but i love playing in color um so when i saw this here i was like oh my god i have to recreate this look and then thank god glamour um hair london actually contacted me and wanted to send me some hair i did use their hair before but i didn't use the blonde hair that they had so this is my first time ever using their blonde hair and i just thought you know what let me just get the blonde hair so i can go ahead and just put whatever color i want and so i got my um, bundles i have three bundles and i all have them in three i mean 20 inches and i also have a frontal which is also 20 inches long um the frontal is not really pre-plugged i'm gonna show you guys how it looks um it's not pre-plugged but i just went in a bit and just kind of tweak it just a little um nothing major and so i'm just gonna get right into this video and how i color this here i'm not going to be showing you guys how i actually make the wig because I do have another video on here that shows you guys how to make a wig. So you're going to need your conditioner, of course. And I got mine from Walmart. It was just like $3 or something. And it's so huge. And then, of course, you're going to get your colors. Um, And I got this color from the Beauty Supplies. And this is by the brand Kiss. This is my first time ever using this brand um, to color my hair. I usually use Adore, but I wanted to try something different today. Um, so of course you can want to go ahead and just squeeze some conditioner into your bowl. I didn't really measure, um, measure, um, how much conditioner or color I'm putting. I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, so the first color that I did is, is obviously the yellow one, but to be honest, I thought I was recording that portion of the video, but I guess I didn't record it because I don't have, um, any of that in my video. But yeah, so for the second video, I'm using this green color. And of course, I use the conditioner to make it lighter because we're going for very pastel colors. Um, so doing mixing it with the conditioner is just going to make it lighter. And thank God we have our uh, hair is a um, 16, I mean 6 by 13. What the hell am I talking about? We have a 613 hair color, meaning you don't have to bleach it. All you have to do is just go ahead and straight on and put your colors. And I love this because it just makes my life so, so much easier. Um, When it comes to coloring, I don't have to um, waste time bleaching and conditioning and all of that. Um, so as you guys can see, this is what the color came out to be. So for me doing color, I love to overlay my second color on top of my first color so as you guys can see i'm doing that and i do that because it just makes it easier for your color to um blend um because you don't want to have that demarcation of where each color start so it's okay to just overlay um your next color on top of your um your previous color um i hope that makes sense so this next color that we're doing is the blue and as you guys can see i'm also mixing it with the conditioner i mix all of my colors with conditioner just to make it lighter i hope i'm making sense if i don't make any sense please don't hesitate to comment down below with any questions that you might have um but yeah i wish i had more blue i honestly didn't feel like i had enough blue um on this hair when i finished the whole thing um, but yeah, so I'm just repeating it and then flipping the hair over and um, applying the color and just making sure every strand of hair gets that color. And please do not be afraid to overlay. That really helps, okay? And when I say overlay, don't overlay on the whole um, previous color. Just sort of like the beginning of the color. Like you guys can see that where that blue starts. Um, just put a bit of that purple on top of it. And that is how you get your colors to blend seamlessly together. So let it just sit for 30 minutes because the hair is already super blonde anyway. Um, and so I let it sit for um, 30 minutes and then I just went ahead and rinsed the hair. I didn't shampoo it because I didn't want to start fading out the color. So I just rinsed the hair and I air dried it. And then I just went ahead and made my wigs and... 
this is how it came out. I freaking love it. I went to Six Flags with this hair and a lot of people just love it and I keep I kept getting little compliments from little girls. They were like, oh my God, your hair is so cute. She looks so cute. It was just like the cutest thing ever. Um, but yeah, I love this hair. I think it's really fun. It's not something that I would wear everywhere or every day, but it's just fun to have color hair and I don't let my skin color stop me from doing bizarre hair color because I just love it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always be your own kind of beautiful.